Hi, hello. We're continuing Endwalker. I have my battle station up here. Oh my god, my chat isn't up. Hello? Oh, it worked! Oh my god, <laughs> this whole time I thought I was talking to myself. Wow, we're off to a good start. Hi everyone, we are in emote only. Uh, okay, weird. That was super weird. But let's get started with a little recap and then we'll go <laughs> off to a great start, obviously. Hi, all right, it's, I think it's Christmas Eve. This is very exciting. Maybe by the time like Christmas rolls over for me, something amazing will happen in game and it'll be like the greatest gift of all. But nevertheless, we are here with more main scenario quest. When we last left off, it was yesterday, uh, which is great that I get to play back to back thanks to the holiday season. And we are going to continue the story. What we know so far is that Actually, I'll use this as my guide, because then I can kind of explain it, and if I'm wrong, people can correct me. I don't think I'll be wrong, though. <laughs> but maybe I will be. Uh, Ilsebard is where Thavnir is. We went here, we met some cool people, and this is where we did Tower of Zot, and we met Vitra, of course, one of the first brood. Vitra was like, hey, thanks for helping, here's some talismans, and the talisman makers were like, oh my god, they worked, this is great. Oh my god, your flower changed color! That's... Oh, yeah, they introduced this new concept. So we have ether, which we understand to be the energy that connects all life. But now we have this other thing called... Asaka? Akasha. Akasa. And that is not... It's like emotions. It's not scientifically studied. Aksha. Aksha. Akasha. Okay, it's one of these things. I'll, I've only heard it in one day. I need a bit more mentions to fully pronounce it right. Okay, so that was kind of the Thavnir events. And then we have Old Charlayan, which doesn't have its own place, which really confused me. Like, the Northern Empty doesn't get its cool spot, which I guess, like, they have room. I don't know if this is a... Anyway. Anyway. It's pronounced Akasa, but it's pronounced Akusha. Akusha. Okay. We... Oh, right. We went to, like, Noah's Ark, which is this labyrinthos, which is this weird underground place that they're actively doing. And we almost got expelled. So when we last left our heroes, we learned about this... K oh, God. Okay, I'm not going to pronounce it right. Emotion... Power, Akasha. Oh my god, everyone's trying to fix my pronunciation, but it's never gonna happen. Sorry. Akasha. Trust me, I know that language. Hayden, I don't know, man. 
I think of all the people to trust, you're the last on the list. But, nevertheless, 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 off we go. We're going, oh, we, well, we're in trouble. The people in the forum don't like us at all. Okay. And now we will continue back in old Charlay. And I'm trying to get actually a sense here. So Thavnir was like all the way over here, right? This is Thavnir. And that's Radz Radzat Han here. So where is Doma? Ah. Oh, I see. So th wait, 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 where is... Okay, and then this is Garlemald. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So they're kind of all the way... So, are they basically England? Like, they have bland food. And not... Hey. I've, I've been to Scotland, and I was served a traditional Scot... Scotland's not Ling England, I'm not saying that. But... I've had lots of deli delicious food in England. Actually, some of my, the best food I've ever had has been in England. So. The British. But they all have French names. So are they French? Eat Thai food. I actually ordered Indian takeout tonight. I actually got mango lassi. So it's a great time. It's in the fridge. Because I think... There was last season. So. I have this um, vision scenario where I'm trying not to look at anyone's titles or minions because I've, I've been told they could be spoilers. So whenever I'm in a town, I like unfocus my eyes and only look at like one part of my screen to avoid potentially spoiling myself. So if it looks like my eyes are going wonky, it's because they are <laughs> on purpose. I don't wanna, like, I don't look, I'm not looking. Like, I'm so scared I'm gonna see a spoiler with some. Reb, you can hide titles and minion names? What? I'm guessing character? Uh, go to check, con go to character config, display name settings, own, companions, others, so just random people, other title display, hide titles, pet display, never. Okay, so this should work. So if we don't see their titles and we don't see their pet names, or was that, was pets not the same? Hmm. Pet is like summons, not minions. Okay, one moment. Pet name setting, where is minion? Party, other PCs, title is hide, display name, companion, display name, pet is never. So where's minion? Hmm. I think I'm good. Do I like my cat? Yeah, I do love your cat. It's my sweet little Coco. Oh my god. I would pan my camera around, but it's a bit jank in here. Wait, it's still showing. Well, that's because they're my friend, so. All right. I'm watching the link shell chitch if you figure it out, but. I'm in the wrong room. Whoops. I'll just not look at them. Where am I supposed to? Oh, oh wow. Hi, Kryle. It's good to be back and with the fruit of our labor safely in storage. For now, we have to wait for the others to return from their meetings with the Alliance leaders. As Than Cred suggested, you should get some rest in the meantime. Welcome back. Retire to my chamber? Yes. Oh no, Archon Loaf. Baked with fish or vegetable flour, this loaf of rye bread wholesome indeed. 
under NPCs. All right, Chip, I'll grab it. Hmm. We have an immortal flower. Take heart and protect them well. Vitra. Or Midgard somewhere. Dragon. It's a dragon. Good. You're here. You haven't eaten yet, have you? Oh We've my god, this is like a friend fresh, simulator. Only the finest dining from the last stand. and pizza oh are you kidding me <laughs> a woman of fine taste graha don't eat the pickle lest you wonder we invited astinian as well but he refused with a rather grim-faced, No, thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. He seriously said no? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest, if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. I need Kryle's hairstyle. Will he Speaking eat the of one's physical condition, Mistress Kryle, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Oh, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. If anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. Of her presence since. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Twill be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? It is puzzling. Come how to say. think of it. Isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. Graha just going for it, the burger. Indeed. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlophoroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength this to carry on day like after day. The total opposite of the conversation we had with Thancred and Astinian on the beach. Like, am I wrong? Like, this is all about joy and finding happiness. And then when we were on the beach in Thavnir. Hey, that's mine. To the swift the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Only barely. 
And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume? Aye, and from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. Twas necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I... Uh, yes, well, after a fashion. Oh, Graha. Eat the cookie. They're tall, you see. The shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? Short cat boy pose. Oh. oh my god, he's so relatable. No one wanted the chocolate donut. You do know these are my quarters. Why else did you think we were here? <laughs> Surrender to thy fate, O oh champion. so emotional. I feel like that was written for me. It wasn't, obviously, but like a flat, a mood. Oh, shit. Ah! Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur, or fashioned from the skins of your enemies, or... Well, never mind that. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questioning. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. It's been a while since I've heard that voice. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. <laughs> Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. It's so weird to me that, like, his only thing is Equally fighting us. Equally tedious. tedious. Mm. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, Thank enough you. to set my soul aflame. 
I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. Wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. I only want to talk when they're not talking, but I you will... see, like, when oh. I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me, so I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes. I think that is something we can both enjoy. I was about to take a screenshot, and I think someone just clocked that in chat. Let's just... Okay, that's kind of pretty, but it's stupid Van Daniel, so we don't... We don't... Oh, damn it. I missed my chance at a Xenos 4K. Oh, God. Okay, NPCs is what... Uh, NPCs... Uh, minions! Display names never. Oh, a button boy! Clocking me. What's up? Quirrell Zephyr. Look at you. That is. It. Is that the ward casting stuff? I don't know. I don't want to look in case it's a spoiler. We have a classic name. Oh! Hey, Reb. Nice to finally see you in gay hope. Oh! Oh, and they ran away! Just like that, they're gone. What a mysterious bun boy. I didn't even get to say goodbye. They're just gone. Uh, Kryle and Graha were having a pleasant conversation until I barged in. Oh, before I continue, last night I learned that Amon is Fan Daniel. But what wasn't clear to me is does that really matter? Other than like hey you you know this guy? Like does it matter? Cuz I don't get why it matters because it matter okay, cuz my understanding of the Asians is that they're... Okay, I'm confusing myself. The seat of Emmett Selk and the seat of Fan Daniel. So, like, Fan Daniel isn't a person as much as he... Oh, you're back! And now you're leaving again? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, because... I know chat's in emote only mode, so it's going to be really frustrating because you can only answer yes and no, and I don't know what you're reacting to. But, like, I'm going to think out loud because... Emmett Selk is Hades. Hades was the person... And Emmett Selk was the seat. So if 
Van Daniel is the seat or title. Amon took upon the title, but that must have meant there was a Van Daniel, like like the president, right? Like just because someone's president now, other people have that title. Rabbi, I just answered myself. Oh no. Right, so I guess my question is, like, do you get recruited to be an, an Asian regardless of if you were from, like, do you, can you get recruited to be an Asian regardless of if you were an Unsundered? Because, like, to me that's like, I know the seat of Emmett Selk is vacant now, because I kill them, so like, can I be Emmett Selk now? Like, do I need to be an Un... I don't want answers, no, let me think out loud. I'm just kind of confused what makes Amon eligible. Like, he must have been an Asian. And after the sundering and the splitting, like, he took on the mantle because he was meddling with the Elagans and all that stuff. Like, so, like, Amon the dude must have been an Asian and then got promoted. Sundered versus un- I don't know. Let me just play. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. You could become Emmett. That's a weird one. To like, I could be Emmett Selk, right? Like, I could. Like, there's no reason I can't. If it's just a title. Like, anyone can have the job. Anyway. We'll come back to this. Just put a pin in this question. And maybe if I don't... Because, yeah, I'm just concerned that I already know this and I just didn't pay attention in class. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I slept through history one time and I'm not sure if it matters. Anyway, I need to talk to Ali, say. But not before I give Yuki T a... Like, oh! There you go, I blew you a kiss. I am going to see what Ali say. Think of Gaia. I am- I always think of Gaia. You don't need to tell me. I am thinking of Gaia. I'm thinking of Gaia! Oh! With Logriff! Of course! Of course! Of course. Hers was the- she was Logriff? Or is that- and Mitron was the bad guy. Right? Okay. Do I pass the test? Am I a historian once more? Heading out for a stroll? If you say so. The Skull Ark himself was here. What are we waiting for? I'm eager to see him. <laughs> Her neurons are activating. Shut up, Chichen. I sent you a DM with a quick explanation. How Asian work, work? It's already been explained to me. Okay. Convocation had 14 members. There were three unsundered. Elidibus, Emmet, Sekul, The rest of the members were sundered as normal people with the same souls as the other 14 members. One of the unsundered would take the shiny rock containing their memories and make them remember. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so we got the... Okay. <laughs> me trying so hard to answer your questions in emote only. Cool, okay. Oh, I should have made my Asian cookies. I made enough gingerbread dough to build a real house of gingerbread. And I made all my jobstone cookies, but I think I can remake the Asian ones, depending on, but not the Fan Daniel one. That's for sure. Uh, I guess I want to go to the studio. Mystery Black Boy. Studio. I do not have it attuned. Sweet. Okay. All right, now now you can listen to me painfully, painfully try and recount my memories of this game. With, with good intentions, it's all in good faith. What's this? The game ties loose ends very thoroughly, all right. Oh, I could make a fan Daniel cookie and burn it and like set it on fire in the oven. And just watch it burn. Could be good. Oh shit. Some 
crime hijinks music. I feel like a cat burglar. Here it is. Phenomenon. While I expect you may not have it before, one can hardly miss it. This is the first time you've ever been here on official business. Labs, testing grounds, administrative offices. Okay. In the 432nd year of the sixth astral era, the Phenomenon Decreed Studium officially opened for a place of learning. Okay, so this is like the Harvard of Charlayan. Youngest to enter the studium, graduate with the highest honors. You both joined the studium at the same age. From where I stand, you're equally prodigious scholars. Alphanod entered half a year before me. I've ever been in his shadow. If nothing else, remember that this is where the legend of Alphano began. Let's look for Skullark Montechain. All right, so old grandpa. is an amazing shirt. Please tell me it looks that good on me. Please tell me it looks that good on me. <gasps> wow. I love it. I'd wear that in real life, to be honest. Maybe it's time. Bust up this. Oh, and no goat. Oh my god, you're in a school outfit. Oh, I should put one on. Okay, who are these people? Excitable student. That was Alphano, the Alphano. Oh, sorry, you're looking for the scholar. Knowing him, he could be anywhere, but Miss Alipo would have a better idea. Uh, Bertswinda, Alice. Oh my god, he's a little celebrity! Oh, this is so cringe. It's Alphano, he spoke to me. This guy's like... Oh, he's a student, I guess. I thought he was like 80. Wow. Cringe alpha no. streets. Don't tell me you're a trainer gleaner. Trainee gleaner. How silly of me. Let me bid you a warm welcome to the searcher's meet. Let me start with the question. What is the most important thing you'll find in the studio? Books. Everything else. Okay. As our newest gleaner, you'll have your work cut out for you. Uh, I'm no gleaner. The only thing I'm gleaning is where the scholar is. Okay. Big you're putting, you're not a gleaner, then this was a ruse? You never claimed to be one, my mistake. Go back the way you came in, as on the opposite side, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to deal with an alpha note, but... while ago. We spoke at length. I don't recall him mentioning where he was going at next. Okay. So the most the shame. Oh! Oh, 
you guys are so cute. We're in class, what are we learning? Noko. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the sightseeing log. What do you do, lookout, is it? Slash lookout. What do I see? A bunch of brilliant minds. We're learning how to prog, sure. I don't see our teacher here. I pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. Well, I could hardly let that inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois. In a less doer setting. Oh, so he's an but old it seems friend. I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the forum. My affair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. <laughs> Did you just Luckily, call each Chola extra? I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. I do actually, desperately, based on the roasting in my link shell. If I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty? that the Forum must fulfill. He's not gonna tell you. Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the Forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. Our duty is of the gravest importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, it would incite widespread panic. As such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment which prevents us from speaking of such matters without the express permission of the Forum. Hmm. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. I would like to learn this power. It could be greatly beneficial to, my, to, to shutting people up. You can't say anything about anything. Oh, he's actually gonna lecture us. Okay. Oh my god. I think I'm about to learn how to make my life very peaceful. <clears throat> we shall begin by reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? Do I know this? Corporeal ether? Maybe? Yes, very good. This is the form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even the simplest of daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us, this form of ether is in constant flux. In contrast, 
The ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. Soul ether? The same can be said for memory. Memory. As the two are intrinsically linked. Picture the soul as paper and memories as words written upon it. Welcome to the something. Welcome. Now, what would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. We would be unable to recall the memories. And any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? The Seventh Umbral Calamity. The people of Eorzea vividly recall Bahamut breaking free of the Lesser Moon and raining hellfire down upon the realm. Mm -hmm. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed immediately afterwards. Indeed, to this day we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. Interesting. The enchantment which binds me and the rest of the Forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlene prohibition against the practice of memory manipulation. Only when a new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. Huh. Not necessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace. I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. Okay, so there are... We must wait until we return to the Ethereal Sea. For there we will be purified, the blots upon our souls washed clean. And our memories drift apart and dissolve. Oh. Rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls, some believe. What happens after that? We are reduced to pure ether, coalesce with that of others, and create souls anew. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. Both theories have their proponents. Personally, I consider each equally probable. Why do I look so stunned? Well, I think that's enough education for today. Now that I've given you some food for thought. Or rather, an entire banquet. Okay. Important. I'm pretty sure I get it. Basically, what happens after we die? Are we reborn or are we reformed? 
And if you're under a... I would remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may... I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of Phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Baldessian. Oh, and I suggest you speak with Ki Aliapo. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful. Okay. We have a lead. Nice old man. <laughs> Free education. Tips. XP. You have been granted the run of Phenomenon. If you are game, they would put my art to scenery. I don't have any skills. I'm skilled. Oh boy. Okay, I learned so much. Oh, Kalisha. Now Reb is trapped in student debt. No, not again. Uh, Kryl is digesting that hefty portion of food for thought. Well, that's giving me much to mull over. I feel as though we're on one step closer to understanding the form's true motives. And with the mysteries of life itself, for good measure. It's funny, I came here with the intent of expressing my gratitude, only to believe more indebted than before. He's a great boon to us. On that note, let's head back to the annex, talk with this lady, and this lady will give us some tips. Inoko's gonna- Oh! Hayden, you're in trouble with Inoko! better run. Uh, okay, we need to teleport elsewhere. Oh, a friend. <gasps> Smooch. Uh, <laughs> we have a we have a situation here. Hopefully they figure that out. Ah! Sakula Nocturna. I've I have very few things to trade you. Unless you would like an egg. Hello Hayden. Calf leather, a large piece of cured calf hide. Cow skin, hmm. A fair trade for cow skin, of course, would be uh, some apples. There you go. Five apples for five calves. That leather makes you, lets you make the leather jacket set. The what? That much makes you the whole set. <laughs> Tincture of dexterity. Thank well, thank you, Sakura Lou. Sakura Lou. Hi, Kalisha. Is that one frog a good... This for accuracy? Thank you. I look forward to it. Thank you. So oh, thanks, Sakura Lou. The calfskin rider's jacket. Oh! This is what, um... Who wears that? I think... Rylarth does sometimes. No, maybe not. Thank you, Sakurala. I appreciate the calfskin leather. I will make a jacket that you will be most proud of. While you were away, I received word from my fellow Scions. As expected, news of the warding scales was met with joy. Preparations are underway. Our friends have asked that we bring the scales to Limsa. Cam, you wear it. That's who. I had a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. 
Let's get the scales out of storage. Give me a hand, would you, Astidian? Lift your own shit, lady. I can't believe he didn't come to dinner in my room. That's kind of offensive. Why didn't you come to dinner? I didn't realize these crates were so heavy. I shouldn't complain. Vitra and the alchemists put their heart and soul into these scales. Treat them with utmost care. Are you not coming with us? I have little choice but to stay behind. We're on thin ice, and if I leave... Well, you can imagine how that would go. Okay. The tide is about to turn. I can feel it. Talimsa. Oh, so we're just going right to Limza. We're going. I found everything that was on the floor. A top off. Just a little bit. It's Christmas Eve. I actually don't really have much left. Okay. Enter the command room in the settlement. I need to go that way. Oh. <laughs> Where Hayden runs, you can always see a bit of cheek, let's say. I was told to expect you. My apologies for calling you away from Charlie and at such short notice. On the contrary, we're honored and grateful. <gasps> it was only right that discussion be conducted in person. What is the plan? It hinges on the warding scales and using them to the fullest. During your time in Charlay, and the allied nations have been engaged on separate fronts with no end in sight. To make matters worse, a surge in abductions of kobold, Saga, Sahagan, Ixel, and, and Ananta have given rise to primals. We have hope once more. The signs of the Seventh Dawn who have shown us the way. We will dispatch our finest folk to strike the enemy's heart of Garlemald. These brave folks will be at the Ilabard contingent. Will be the Ilabard contingent. So we are going to go into Garlemald. To think such progress has been made in so short a span. Its objectives are twofold. First is to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. As previously reported, countless Imperial soldiers and civilians have been tempered, robbed of their free will. They will serve the Talaferoi at every whim without question. They too are victims. It's our duty to deliver them from their suffering, because it's the right thing to do. And what's, I do not ask that we set aside decades of conflict and conquest. We just choose to forgive and forget. No, no. I only ask that choosing to remember we do not also forsake our compassion and morality. There can be no reconciliation, only death without end. I, on that we can all agree, our second objective is the colossal tower that Than Cred and Uriange observed in the capital. Though its purpose remains unclear, there's reason to believe the smaller spires are a precursor of what's yet to come. Until the Tower of Zot was toppled, we'd failed to make any headway. Okay. I'd wager the spires are dividing and keeping us occupied while they work towards our total annihilation. This would be substantiated by Ishtola's analysis of the tower's influence on the ethereal currents. Based on our observations inside Zod, the spires siphon ether from the land, consuming it to maintain their form. However, they draw forth more than is required. The excess remains unaccounted for, but we can be sure it's not being harnessed for our benefit. Okay, so there... And there was a limb or something inside? Something weird? That's all well and good, but what would you have us do? I assume it's more than handing over scales and being on our way. 
We want you and your scales to join the Isle of Ard contingent. Consider it a request. Do you accept? Hell yeah, I do. For the people of Garlemald, for glory, for honor and glory. None of these seem right to me. I'm not a vengeful person. I guess I like some Garleans more than I should. So I guess that. As I spill wine all over my face because I can't see it. Good thing I'm wearing black. Once you've embarked on the Lee Baba, all of the ego contingent of our master, the child of our egg, Robon and Lord Amrick are overseeing the preparations. I suggest you make yourselves known. Pack warm clothing, fur, and the like. Without it, the cold will do you before the tilt off the rice, which is draw steel. As for us, we will keep the enemy busy while you're gone. We are going into Garthamal because they have a big tower and we don't like that. Oh, this mysterious bun boy is back. Hey, Rabbit, just wanted to say thank you. I hope you're. Oh, thank you! Oh. A Reaper, no less. Fancy. Cool. All right, we're going to Alamigo. Got something to show you. Wait there five seconds. Okay. <gasps> Dead. This guy thinks he just witnessed a murder. <laughs> I mean, he swears he's innocent, but he's not. He's crying because I died. Oh man, that guy didn't know what to do. Jake B jumping around. All right, Hayden, your five seconds is up, sorry. You know what, I'll give you five more just because I'm feeling generous. I see you, Hayden. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. At least we have matching leggings now. Oh boy. Where is Sinric when you need him? That is out of control. Out of control. This is my most hard to navigate town in all the land. I've already gone the wrong way. None of the doors work. Where's Sinric fearing that queue? Oh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. No shame. Grab, I can fly? Can I, Chichin? Can I, Chichin? Are you sure I can? Hmm? Why farm ether currents, Chichin? Why? <laughs> Holy shit, Emma, I absolutely... This is why what, Chichin? Spit it out. What? What? This is why what? Hmm? Hmm? Colonel Sanders doing some squats? This is why you farm them? Why? This is the only- this is- this is not why I farm them. Why would I farm them? C Colonel Sanders is wearing his comrade gear. Emma is wearing denim and looking like a- <gasps> Oh my god, it's actually Amrick and Astinian reunited! Oh my god, this is a big moment. Okay, we need to do a slash pretty please. And then maybe a G pose. I'm look this way. 
Oh my god, this is the best. Oh my god, Hayden in the background. I'm blocking you with Estinian. Sorry, buddy. Just me and the lads. be busy bringing down the tower and producing the keys to destroying the rest. You should be proud. These scales are what made this whole venture possible. Will you and Lord Amrit be leading the contingent? Mm -hmm. Regrettably, no. Our role is to organize. Once we've seen you off, it's back to our respective posts. We dare not neglect our duties for too long. And just between us, there's a fair amount of opposition in the formation of the Ilzebar contingent. Oh, people don't like this. Hm. Can't please them all. I do my best. Ooh, truth be told, I'd much rather be at your side charging into the fray. But words serve me better than any blade. The best we can offer you is peace of mind knowing that Eorzea is in safe hands. What? Question mark, we meet again. <gasps> no way! Much has occurred since we last parted ways in Warlight. From what I gather, the protector talismans you obtained led to the formation of this force. My contribution on this occasion is but a minor one. But that being the information I've shared with Maxima, for the sake of the people of Garmal, may, may, may fates be on your side. You better be coming with us. I do. The tell off for I have laid waste to my homeland and enslaved my people. I cannot be the one to deliver judge vengeance. My presence alone will put the entire mission in jeopardy. I stand accused of murdering Emperor Varus and plunging Carlemald into chaos. Were I to travel with the contingent, it would give my countrymen cause to question our motives. Conversely, those who believe me innocent may celebrate the return of a legatus to raise me a position of leadership. Hmm. Whether I'm a villain or a hero, I would only hinder your efforts. I understand Warlight is in your hands. Wow, he's here? Oh my god, I love him so much. I will defend it to my dying breath. Oh, please don't remind me. The government of Warlight intend to offer refuge to those fleeing Garlemond. Garlemond. Okay, so they're gonna set up like that. Wow. In light of his circumstances, I will assume the role as your guide. Okay. So Maxima's our man. You might even bump into an old acquaintance or two. If I don't see you after you depart, may Fury guide you and protect you, all of you. An old acquaintance. Okay, who could that be? Definitely Hian. Definitely uh, Lise, I assume. I meant to ask, what job is Americ technically? Is he a job at all? He has a sword, so I assume he was a Dark Knight, but he's kind of not really a Dark Knight. Maybe he's a paladin? Is he like, he's a paladin. Oh, okay. Wow, that's extra special. Wow. He's a paladin, eh? Beautiful man. Oh my god. Okay, I can have pizza with daddy. Having some pizza with my dad. Oh my god, he's so so chivalrous. Ah! Oh my god, I almost just remote desktop. Whoops. Any way to wake him? Who's asleep? Oh no! Hmm. Yeah. It's hard to say. Oh Val, what's up? How do we wake this bunny? I know. Perfect, grab the tank. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is this is really setting the mood for an invasion to Garlemald. We have a Oh my god. Oh my god. 
quite cursed. The, the camera angle here shows you that there's actually enough foot room for a giant elephant suit. Oh shit. Someone with the clan name Vibe? I need to snatch that for my for a vibe check. Maxima would have you meet your traveling companions. The other members of the contingent are gathered at the royal palace. I shall inform you of their arrival. Make your way inside as soon as you're ready. Ah, uh, the remaining members of the Scions. Everyone waits you. Yes. Okay, so I assume it's gonna be Lise. I assume Hien. Maybe even... Hmm. People that fight with me that aren't here. If... By the twelve. If the old guy that was with Hien, his It is Lise. Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. Tis a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garland. Oh, my little black mage Much friends! Rise on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. <laughs> Pippin! Oh! Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted comrades, yourselves included. We get Lucia? Lucia. Hell yeah, dude. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. We have a hard road ahead of us. Oh my god, she's so amazing. Shall, together. Okay, I need to like get ergonomically we set up this opportunity to work together once more. I have Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our Everyone, if I may have your attention. You may. I assume that guy's the white mage thing that I never did. Like, I assume these are all the job quests if you've done all the jobs. Does that mean Sigard's here? Might I ask you to speak first? Where is he? This is the white mage guy. If I must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. But he's not a thing. He's like half. half he's like a weird creature, sister, right? The elder seeds here. We. Sh Oops. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild. With the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Aren't they like a weird species that's like a special species? Suppose I'd better say my piece. Sickheart, I know this guy. Wait, I know you. The name's Sickheart, in case you forgot. Oh, he's the pirate! At the end so of 5.5, right? Or five point. Any road. The Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best and full. Right? Like, didn't reason. I just meet this guy in five point five or something? Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key right, okay. as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a- Oh my god, he turned good with a heart of gold. Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Okay, of course, so- just like the Gridanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls. Oh. Well, you're certainly raring to go. And again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. My people! My black mages! If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoron. 
We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarrapin and I will be leading from the front. My creepy Lala mages at the back. Perfect. It's been I'll some time right since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Oh! They were gossiping about her. <laughs> Fan cred. With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. Where is Sigurd? As Sigard? for we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. Bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Okay, so we're basically Accordingly, going Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. Okay, you're in charge. The four high houses, House Hylenart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lomitsa. I know this guy from the Dragoon quest line. He's the original Azure Dragoon. There is another awaiting introduction. <gasps> oh! Lord Emanolaine! Ah, yes. Uh, Emanolaine de Fortor, at your service. Oh my God, I'm unless there flashbacks. be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from okay, it, so actually. Okay, so he's begrudgingly my here. But, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. Sign me up. May your pr prancing lead the way to victory. I cannot wait to regale on a hoa with my tales of This guy's totally I believe that concludes yeah. introductions <laughs> for the Grand Company of Eorzea. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, uh -oh. but it would appear they have been Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? They're probably already here Actually, then. They've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way, you preening fool! Is it Little Sun? Oh, it's Sanu! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is so exciting. Forgive us for coming late. Cyrena, and you broke him? For battle and blood we come, as a step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. No quarter to the end. no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, we've heard many tales of your bravery. Members of the Dalmascan Resistance Group, Lente's Tears. And the Bosnian Resistance. Amazing. Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous. Since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. Dalmasca, Bosia, Alamigo. All lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Tilophoroi. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many... You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. 
Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. Since I started playing, basically. But after seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Guardians, they're just people. No different from you or I. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. <gasps> Where is Gaius it? Gaius bloody Baelsar himself is working to help rebuild Whirlit, a nation he once conquered. Where is Sid? So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. It won't be easy. But Where is Sid? What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I do not see a Sid Monka steer in chat. Let us review our strategy. <laughs> to reach the Galian capital in northern Ilsabad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial. What is that Sid Monka steer? This most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garland would attract the attention of the Telophon. Amazing. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational okay, systems. Okay, so we can't go by air. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, Glacius. we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Okay. So we're like literally planning. Like this is war planning, okay. Hmm. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So it is imperative that we only make camp in position. This feels like a strategy game. We cannot for. account for every possibility. So we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. Okay. What will I need? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna need. Warm clothes? Do I actually? Where is Sid? Oh my God. I cannot believe how many people are here right now. Sid is busy. Okay, fair enough. Is, um... Who am I looking for? Hmm. All right. Besides the delegates, the Amalja and several other tribes have offered the seven troops. Message from Hian. In distant lands and times of strife, together stand, together fight, and darkness shines the light of life. I hope he could have done his words justice. Stoma has been plagued by the towers. He could not be here. He wants to express his conviction. Hian and Yugiri labor with the rest of the United People. Okay, so they sent this step. Okay, I see. <laughs> I think I see Hayden in chat saying he doesn't need to dress warm for Garlemald because clothing is just an illusion. Wise words from, from Hayden. Clothes are just a solution. Reb, the potato in green and white is from the Puglis Guild, but the glasses is the Scholar Questline guy. Yeah, Alka I recognize from my Scholar Questline. Tater? No. Uh, who else do I give it to? I guess. Hmm. 
next week. Do you have a scale for me too? Thank you for this. Courtesy of the Alchemist's Guild. Warming tinctures. Ooh. This is our last chance. You needn't worry about Ariange and I. We still have what we wore. Do I get to see a fan cred outfit change? Oh. Estinian claims to be warm and toasty beneath his armor, and since he spent a spare bit of time up north, I have no reason to doubt his words. Most of the others will be borrowing the Grand Company stock. The rest of you will do likewise. Provide you're not overly concerned with style. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I wouldn't be seen dead in one of those ridiculous overcoats if only I had time to find something to my liking. Hark, is that a scion in need of a tailor? Tataru! I have my ways, oh yes, indeed. You could, thought you could sneak off to Elzebard without telling me. Nothing escapes my notice. You will wear these garments I've made for you whether you like it or not. No, I'm not coming. It's the name of the fashion, the pursuit of the highest quality fashion. Artemis and Blue Muyeda have returned from the assignment from their faraway lands. They'll be staying at the Rising Tones to keep my vents throughout the Odyssea. Since they'll be running things at the headquarter, I was wondering if I could land a hand in Charley and Oh, why not? Keep Prowl company. We'd love to have you there. If anything this disastrous were to happen, I'd be positioned to do something about it. I'll make my way to Charlayan. I hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm. It's not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you. Okay, we got clothes! Here are your winter woolies, handcrafted by yours truly. North Sea Coat. I'm like rolling around here like a marble. Okay. North Sea Coat. Let's try it on, see if you like it. Oops. Ooh, the all nasty. Ooh, that's cool. The North Sea Coat. I don't think so. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, it's not bad. Not terrible. They all look very cozy though, I must admit. Oh, Kalisha! I have to go... Whoa. I have a mystery quest. Oh, Tataru. <laughs> Hayden, looking great. Oh, upon boarding the airship, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these in their entirety. You will be required to participate in battle.
I'm nervous. I don't get nervous, but I'm nervous. Ilsebad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius, The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have some survivors of the civil war, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they are led by Vagilia, legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. Hmm. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the first, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Interesting. Sybil... Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the civil war. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. They're tempered, of course. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. A direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. Do they know I'm a black mage? Just wondering about the casualties How so? thing. Savage beatings, disarmament and imprisonment? Not impossible, but easier said than done in the heat of battle. Oh, poor Marie I observed the opposition. I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. More Marie So cozy. He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's cut. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments. And once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel. Divide and conquer. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other... Oh my god, did As you see Graha's coat? I ask that you lend your assistance where... Oh my god, Graha's coat. I would coat. prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Graha got the best outfit. I need to see their Anchorette's outfit. I need to see it. Show me Winter Thancred. Show it to me. Spicy. Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. Ishtola always did have a flair for the dramatic. 
She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. Yes, satisfy. All right. Once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. Okay. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. I love that he got the, the Boja crew. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh my god, I love him so much. Call it and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. Oh my god, I love that grid. This is in oh, absence. Well, oh, I guess I his minions here. I have to admit, the third screenshot I ever took in this game was of Thancred back in the day. So to see this come full circle is very special for me. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Solid barrel combo. I've done this once before in Shadowbringers, um, but this looks kind of new to me. Wait a minute. Does that mean I can eat pizza as Thancred? No! He can't read? He's too dumb to read. Can he G-pose? Oh my god, you can. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please tell me this works. Oh no! Can he do anything? No. Very well. Oh my god, this outfit is everything. Oh my god, I love him. I guess I could like do something kind of cool. Can you do anything? Come on. <gasps> oh my god. This is... Oh my god. Hold on, we need a different filter. We need a uh, berserk filter. Let's go. Oh my god! Silent Hill is not what we want. What if we just did? Okay, I know I should be playing, but I can't. I need this Gothic Rose? Ooh. No, I just want something kind of like cool, you know? Oh my god, he's so perfect. 
We have a job to do. None of this dilly dallying. Uh, what am I? Oh my god, the timer's been going the whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's timed. I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. Oh my god. As soon as something else we should confirm because my submission is soon as you're ready. Oh my god, the timer's literally been going this whole time. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I'm by myself. I'm a lone wolf. Uh, use swift de deception. Uh, infiltrate supply depot. Time he took a nap. Use silent takedown. I can't! Oh! Can I use it now? Oh. oh my god, this is awful. Gunbreaker's so easy. Okay, that doesn't do anything. What does it do? Guard dogs. Oh, okay, it has no effect on Magitech weaponry, meanwhile. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Just kidding. mitigation. Oh, I'm doomed. Shit! Oh no, it doesn't work! Damn it! Damn it! Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, now I know what to do, so... Easy. Do not take a G pose for five minutes. Don't do it. How many cutscenes? Cut scenes am I gonna have to skip? Thank grid. Thank grid. Hey, oh boy, here we go. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this. So let's make it count. Oh shit. It has a cooldown. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Must be losing my touch. You're not losing your touch! Oh god, 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Okay. 15 second cooldown. last four? Oh my god. Ten seconds. Okay, interesting. That guy's gonna go... What way is he going? Oh, okay, good. as much damage as I am allowed to take. Okay. So what did I do this time? I think I need, I only have 10 seconds once I do this, so. do anything against the slashers? I need 10 seconds here. So I better... Run, 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 run. What's their path? So he just goes back and forth. Oh, okay. So he goes that way. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Find a place to hide? Oh my god. This is Thancred. The explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Northwest, okay. Understood. Map. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. No! Mm. Must be losing my touch. I'm not losing your touch, buddy. Okay, we're at 38 now. 42. I don't even know what to do. I need to access the control terminal. Okay, so that guy's gonna go north on this highway with lanes, apparently. Uh, no farther, okay. Shit. Oh god. 
Okay. Threat is going up. Nebula is on cooldown. Oh my god, we're in the yellow. Come on! How much damage am I taking? Okay, I regen- oh, I'm screwed. Okay. Oh my god. We're at threat 77. We're not quite at... Oh boy. Um, okay, that slasher is gonna be trouble. Shit, I'm at 92. Ooh! I don't know what way to go. That's it, the control terminal. Oh my god. This is a disaster. That thing's gonna see me. Oh my god, fan cred. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you are returned, and none the worse for wear to my considerable relief. I did it! Woo. What news from our comrades? Oh my god, stand that's at the ready. unbelievable. <laughs> Excellent. And let the fireworks begin. Whew. So, okay, so we're just blasting. We're blasting. Do you think that um, in the QA process, someone tried to G-pose with fan cred and then the devs had to fix it so that you could do it this is my greatest moment to prove that you can g-pose as fan cred very exciting if anyone has any requests now is the time the blizzard's beginning actually to no it's clear. not i just beat it never mind the vanguard should be engaging the imperials any moment now if they haven't already Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be all right, but... Uh-oh. <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Dog. Many dogs. Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good as dead! <laughs> Square Enix testers are gamers that go hard in all fields, for sure. Uh, alright. Oh, I'm me again. Oh, this is unfortunate. Protect the others! This is very unfortunate. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Sometimes it tells me, protect the others, okay. You suck, clearly, at your job.
even the dogs got tempered? Is that right? Please, we're counting on you. Okay, so first. A brief respite, but stay alert. This is cool that they do icons. Is that new? Is this new? The carriage is safe. Oh shit, I lost my thing. That's really, really cool. Uh, okay. Oh, Alfie, no! Oh my god, I will help you. Oh, what impeccable timing! Fear not, friends! The savior of Ishgard is here! Are still in danger. Uh, Go on ahead. Are they? We'll hold the line. Where's the card? We're the only ones who struggle. So we put our backs into it then. I've been itching for a good smack. Pablo see me decompose with Sam Cred is the real the real question. Could lead to <laughs> Philly's fantasy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That big bastard's going straight for the carriages. Oh no. Broadside him. I will not let you die. Taking like Get a literal the highway. Turn the tide. The existence of such a highway suggests the existence of blinking indicators on vehicles, or vehicles at all, actually. the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. <laughs> it's nothing that won't heal in time. The trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk. 
and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Oh my god, get her with your axe! Get her! I have that outfit! I literally have that outfit. That's Bagilia. Damn it. I need to help the others take her down. There's no end to them! Me! I can- I recognize those shoes anywhere. I was wondering when you'd turn up. There's no stopping us now. Come on, let's show them what we're made of. Oh my god, team fight, let's go. Pippin, what do we got? A paladin, a gun, I don't know what Pippin, what is Pippin? Oh, that was Xenoglossy popping off. Sweet, we got a stack. We have them now! Forward! Out of AOEs, this is very grim. Uh, how do I stack with him? I guess I don't. Oh, here, this should keep you in the fight. my party who do I hate the most I heard star diver where's the Sunian I heard it I heard it oh god Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, come on. Are you kidding me, Magni? Oh my god, mana work quickly. Oh my god. Heal or die! Hey, Rev, look at these. Okay. I'm looking at these. She looks pretty cool. What was she doing? Pippin is Dark Knight. Okay. Oh, God. Ooh. No! Oh, okay. Pretty good. Oh shit. I ruined it. I ruined everything. More fodder for my flame. I feel like Sadu is the closest thing I'll ever find to true. True kid. I'm a little worried I'm losing this fight, but I don't know. <gasps> Oh my god, she's got the things from the, the thing! I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, she's got a tank buster. Lend Sadu a hand. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god, this is not good. I'm not smart enough for these mechanics. Lend Sadu a hand, then she'll escape my chains. Now is your chance to strike? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Tremble before the sun! 15 seconds until Sadu completes something. Sadu completes. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what to do! Oh my god, what an absolute beauty. We did it! She did that when we were on the step, or someone did that on the step, if I recall. When we were on the step, I, I actually failed that like three times, if I recall correctly, in my Stormblood travels. Oh, a worthy adversary. I think her and Xenos would get along. Rest, recover, reclaim yourself. Then we will fight again. To the Sadu Hatun. <laughs> I hate you, Galen. That was the last of them. Trolling me. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. Hmm. Outmaneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrade. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. We did it! Can't wait to go there. <laughs> love the horizon. Would truly love nothing more than to go to that ominous. So cold and unforgiving. Thus spoke Emperor Solace as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi, after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth, freezing, hungry, desperate, hated. The Chosen Forsaken. Mm. 
In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young Legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Cerulean? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed, bitterly so. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. We can consider the question after we have made camp. This kid is insane. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. Like, cut your hair. Come on. Maybe he doesn't need eyes, though. Maybe he doesn't need eyes at all. I may have misspoke. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. Mm -hmm. An apt name, perhaps. So we're in broken glass? Honestly, the fact that Emmett's narrating it is really screwing with me. Um... <laughs> Obviously, we have a full crew here <laughs> cleaning, cleaning up. Oh no! My cold friends. It's okay. Be warm. Oh, Kalisha has a hat on and every. Oh, Hayden, looking a little, uh, a little chilly there. A tune. Okay, so what is this gonna be in my little teleport guide? You attuned to the etherite. But what? Where am I? Oh, it's in Ilsebard. Garlemald, I see, okay. <laughs> I, here's 100 gil for not failing three times. Glad that I have made a lucrative uh, bet here. Damn right I didn't fail. In spite of the obstacles we've faced, our plan proceeds at a pace. Just a little farther and we will reach the capital itself. <laughs> Colonel Sanders on a bear? It's perfect. Where's your little mustache? Intact. Perfect. Everyone looks warm and cozy. That's good. Speak with Ishtola. Camp Broken Glass. Fascinating. Oh, she's cold. In truth, I've been feeling out of sorts. The air is thick with malevolence. The monstrous tower on the horizon. Yeah, that's pretty brutal.
You will be pleased to know that most of the tempered have been quartered inside and they're receiving treatment. Everyone fled at the first sign of trouble. There's no conclusive evidence. Like a cheese and crackers. Bio snacks could be good. Our present situation fun. is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Populares and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's down. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spell. Plenty of pigs. Would to you go like around. a hound? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with ceruleum eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again. Okay, so fetch quest time for me. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophoroi. They will be searching for us. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. Okay. They know we're here. Oh. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. Oh, damn it. I might as well just play with this filter on, because fall! Oh! In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. Cam, I do not need to take more screenshots when I'm streaming. I'm gonna you, get, Baha? I'm gonna I be receiving we'll a, use or two for that vanishing spell a plentiful amount of mockery for the amount of screenshots I've already taken, so I'd rather not. <laughs> Should be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. Okay, so we're not getting the As a matter of fact, stuff? I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. If there's any survivors, ice fields. I love ice fields. Oh, wait, I don't. Hmm. As ever, you do not want for enthusiasm. But given your experience traipsing about through Curthus, 
I should be surprised if you let a little inclement weather dampen your redoubtable spirits. And even if that were the case, the promise of hot soup upon your return would surely spur you to action. That seemed oddly personal because pretty much. You all have hot your duties. Is... Let us make haste. The May Holy the Fury for me. bless and keep you. Hmm. Okay, we're getting hot soup soon. All right, so some people are doing some furnace repairs. I am not doing furnace repairs. Uh, all right. How close am I to the next dungeon? I want to like get my snacks and bio before the dungeon. A while? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All this G posing. Oh no. All right. Hey, I got a 3080. Don't. Bio now while we still have the chance. Is now a good time for a bio break? I'll be right back.
Hello, test. Okay, I have cheese, then I have crackers, and let's see. I got a beverage that is not red wine, so my mouth doesn't go dark red, because it's horribly embarrassing to stream with like <laughs> any red wine mouth. So, hi. Instead, we're classy drinking cider. It's green, so my green screen doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Drunk Grab is not coming back. I'm sorry. She's never to see the light of day again. Those days are gone. It's cheese and crackers, Reb, moving forward. I will eat this whole wheel of cheese. Don't judge me. It's the holidays. I'm a fully reformed woman. I do not simp, nor do I do... I'm not, I'm not. I'm a re reformed woman. This Borson is the garlic and fine herbs. To be honest, this is like drugs to me. My brother <laughs> sent me a picture today of um, him and his wife were eating cheese. Oh. Where did I go? Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I and they were singing Borson's praises. I eat this way too much to the point where I should stop, but I won't. So yeah, with a coke like it's actually kind of the cracker is kind of gross. Um, not everyone likes this cracker. I do. It's a coconut cracker. I know. I won't chew into the microphone. I'll mute it when I'm chewing. Because they're very crunchy. Oh, Anoka's having a Chardonnay. <gasps> Ether current. From this point onward, people can no longer ridicule me for my lack of attuning to ether currents because as demonstrated on the evening of Christmas Eve. I attuned with an ether current. So, don't want to hear it. One out of a hundred ain't bad. Shut up, I do. I hate you. Not really. Don't hate you. But I hate you. Right now. I spy with my little telescope. A massive sheep thing or a cow? Uh oh. Not what we're after. Either way, is that an ether current? Ah, no, just a wind sprite. Hottie in a green dress. She'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near. We should be able to follow her footprints. Okay, we're looking for survivors. A man of chivalry. My honor demands I do. My honor demands I do no less.
All right, there is an Obibos. Hello to anyone new in chat. Uh, I am on emote only mode to avoid spoilers. If there's an emergency, people can get a hold of me. But otherwise, it's emote only. Lead east. Okay, that's this way. Rain and cold weather suck. Yeah, well. Can't can't lie. That's true. Maybe. These footprints appear to be the same as those you saw previously, and they lead towards the building. Hayden is quite naked in the cold and rainy Garlemald. That man doesn't feel the cold, fear the cold. Oh my god. Neela. Oh! I have the same outfit. I just can't glam plate here. Grab what, Hayden? What? Grab follow. Okay. Oh, I failed to follow the end. Hayden, you distracted me. Your destination will not appear on the map while following. Uh, okay, so don't fall far behind. Yeah. Approach the girl in green. Who are you? Stay away. That death doesn't matter, and I can just keep trying. mature audiences, right? So I can swear as much. I, I think I put it, unfortunately, but there's no easy mode for this. I get it! I need to hide behind the bl glowing blue rock. It's clearly obvious to me now. Maybe if Hayden wasn't running around with his ass out in front of my goddamn face, I wouldn't be so distracted. I 
I don't know if anyone here watches Succession, but I'm about to drop some true Logan Roy wisdom on Hayden, should he continue. Honestly proud of my ass. Good for you. No. This is a disaster. Ugh. Yuki, I'm following you. Please be kind to me. Should I go on a mount? Should I mount? Yes, I should, okay. disaster. I can see people in my link shell making bets on if I'm gonna do it. It hurts, you know? It hurts. I believe I screwed this up last time. Honestly, devastated. I hate you. Ari? Semi, I hate you both so much. Ah. 
Unbelievable. I'm following you, but I don't know that I should. <laughs> Thank you for the milk. I'll need it for my bones. My weak bones. Oh my god, if your train makes her go too far away from me, I will kill you. Could you imagine if the thing that made me fail was you giving me goddamn milk? Oh my god. Wow. Disaster. Oh! My cheese fell! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're good. This house is packed with explosives. My cheese left me. Just a bit. Not not a ton. She's a cutie, not gonna lie. Licinia, I've managed to stay sane. I've been asking myself the same question ever since that night, the roar, the terrible roar, and then the screams. I was screaming too, but I can't remember. Then came silence. No, no, we know that the land making a noise is bad. I thought the fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. It is the end of days. as far as my legs would take me. Do you have family here? Is this their home? This is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers, but now it's me and my f well, few others are borrowing it. As for the explosives, I was making that up. I wanted to keep everyone else safe. Can you help us? Okay, kind of a big development because I basically confirmed, so that's the first confirmation we've had of a sound because what we learned yesterday night was that um, the sound preceded the end of days. This is everyone. Time to put my firewood gathering skills to good use. snow. You underestimate her too much. Thanks, Kalisha, for standing up for me. The only person to do so. Kalisha, thank you. Uh, 
Uh, 100 gil? Thanks. I will use it wisely. Hey, I won 100 gil betting you'd do at that time. Okay, then that's nice to hear. Why do I hear music? <gasps> Galen, no! Oh no! Warm up, my sweet, sweet friend. This is creepy. Why do I hear music? Radio on the table. Oh. Wow. I can treat their frostbite, but it'll take time for the fire to do its work. Make use of the tinctures. Oh, right! Oh, man, I get to hand around some drinks. Warming tincture. Well, if they're getting a radio signal, that implies that there's still an active radio transmitter. Okay. So... Sorry, I clicked that fast, but that's because I want to get everyone drunk so we can party. Bit of a cutie. And I get a cinematic with him? It's a radio. You don't have them where you're from, I take it. We use them to listen to messages sent by others over great distances. Locus Amonis. People at the broadcasting station must have fled or ended up like the others, because all we've been hearing is the same music played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon, an ode to the brave men and women sent to proclaim our ancestral homeland. We may have founded an empire in these frozen wastes, but we'll always hope to take back what was once ours. I've heard that Varys yet lives, and that he speaks to us through radios. Faking his murder. I'm sure of it, he would not be defeated so easily. Well... Space mom handing out alcohol to minors? No, I am not. I am delivering warming tinctures, of course. These crackers are hard to get. How did you cut? How did you reach there? Did you cross the mountains on foot? Why are we telling her so much? It's a little unsettling. Lucinia, where is everyone? Is something the matter? A voice from inside. You must be imagining things. Perhaps a baby Almasti has found his way into the house. Wouldn't be the first time. Without the soldiers to scare them off, wild animals have been close. You're lying! I head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of tappers. They're not willing to give their fuel away. They want food, and that's something we don't have. Hmm. We only need enough cerulean to last as long to travel to your camp. 
You best watch out for it, baby El Nasties, while we're away. Hmm. Of course, I'll be sure to sh shoo them away. Across the lake, the ice is thick to hold a person's weight. Even after all this cheese? Interesting. I decided I'm not gonna walk. Hayden was there in a car with multiple mount seats and I just took it. I took the Uber, I'll pay the fee, whatever it is. I saw that distance and I just... A burly tapper, you say. Those stuck-up arseholes, though they come waltzing in here demanding cerulean with nothing to offer in return. They've sent you to negotiate. Oh! Oh my god. You will not win this fight. Stop. Consider me. Okay. Who are you? What happened to the guards? I kind of one-shot them. Eorzeans and rebels here to save the people of Garlemald. It doesn't make any sense. Why would you pass up this chance to put the bastards to the sword? Garabania, Damasca, some dragged here against her will. Others fed bollocks about a better life, put to work with Cerulean. The old hierarchy means nothing, and new Garlemald says we about the only thing that escaped is Cerulea Ingens, still sustaining us with our paymasters out of the picture. We hear you're experts in drawing Cerulea up from the bottom of the lake. It's not a bit Cerulean is used for much these days, but with the city in ruins, we take enough to power our heaters and surplus for later. Okay, so food for oil, basically. Even if we manage to get back to our homelands, there'd be nothing left for us thanks to the Empire. The knowledge and the skills we acquired working here are useless outside of Garlemald. Okay. I haven't had, like, an echo headache lately. You know? Regardless of what the Elsebar contingent does for the people of Garlemald, the Empire is the thing of the past. That would be cause for celebration. Their whole way of life is turned upside down. So you must come seeking Cerulean. What are those pure bloods that Victor's spoils sent you? Turn them to their enemies for help. They must be more desperate than I thought. A 
sister, but we only saw Licinia and three men. It's possible her sister died from whatever was ailing her. Why would her sister keep why she keep her sister a secret from us? This isn't right. It's too quiet. I would have thought Alphano would still be treating them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Let's look inside the house. They can't have gone far. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I got them wasted. They can't handle me. It's fine. They asked me to help carry supplies. They attacked me, caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I fear they fared worse than me. We can't fool us. We know what you're about. Vultures waiting to show us weakness and you swoop in. Here to help what brought a ploy. You're wrong. That's not what any of us want. I found empty medicine bottles in a bed that was still warm. She was hiding her sick sister inside the house. Now there's no sign of either of them. Away from you and yours. If you think I'll tell you you're a fool, I'd never give up my people. We're trying to help them, you idiot. Her sister's ill, the empty bottles prove it. The medicines ran out, she put her pockets to make it easier to carry. Or avoid the sound of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. You invade our homeland, taint it with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. A guardian should die than suffer the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by your magic. We were waiting for a chance to free them since the moment you arrived. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how her sister will react when we find them, but we find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I need to tend to my injuries and theirs. I will search, join you in the search after. We'll do our best to find them quickly. Yes, we will. Now that I have a car, I feel like I fit in on the laned highways of Garlemald. Perhaps they chose a new route? I can't think of any other reason. Look at this place, it's crawling with beasts. Split up and look for clues. 
Oh boy. Uh, who is flexing? Oh my god. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And off they go. Off they go. Bye. See you never. Won't miss ya. I don't know where to go. This is a huge area to search. Blood. Oh no. The blood staining the snow is fresh. Southeast. Okay. Literally dead. Of course, the squads. Of course, the squads. Galen is literally dead. Uh, Yuki's healing Galen, I pray. Mion is dead. Lucinia is dead. Emma is dead. Ari and Aqua are fine. Okay, we'll be okay. Wow, they're literally just dying. Am I so offensive that they would rather flee than gaze upon me? <laughs> they're dead? trail we found one they were attacked no <gasps> why why wouldn't they Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I should have... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold.
I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Licinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. I have nothing to say. This feels like a war game. Why are you on the table? Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean. Absolutely they would. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister? I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis, Maxima identified. Hmm. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events of the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specific. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth? Interesting. Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. While some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. 
No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Soscalvis is murdered. But we saw him get murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius Van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession. And in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. But we know that's not true. So no one is at fault? And everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the popular... So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. That's the thing! From that point onward, they have no memories. No record when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation. They somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders. So they've been tempered. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of God. Babel. Interesting. Are we going biblical? We had Noah's Ark. Now we have the Tower familiar. of Babel. Hmm. We have something to show you all. Are we going... Do we need to find King Solomon? A baby to cut in half? This is feeling very Varys difficult so far. spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be... We are of one mind, then. Is the tower... The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the oh. civil war would have been spared. No wonder Licinia kept it close. Oh! My friends, I must speak with you. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. I think we do. Okay, so the radios were used... The radio frequency, whatever, is the same... Blue hair? Who do we have here? Do I know him? Or her? Garlians? Oh, not this music! Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? I can't do this music. I am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pier Norbanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know, and that is why we have come to offer you our aid. Why would they play this music? Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? 
If it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Justinian! No. Alize, fine. Please allow me and Alize to act as envoys. May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Guardians face. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. I still can't believe I have the same hair as their mom. Like, to me, that's perfect in my head canon. Like, the reason they like I me so much is because I remind them of their mom. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause. You know what I mean? Like, for me, it works. Like, they like me so much because I remind them of their mom because I have the same hair. So, I'm okay with it. A couple of children and what? A cell sword. Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. Aside, there are many I'm dangers on the road ahead. So this cheese situation I will need that puts back. me through great stomach distress, but I persevere because I love cheese so much that I do not care. The pain it causes me is worth it. So if you hear my stomach rumble, it is worth the pain. Social etiquette. Conduct yourselves accordingly. Fan cred will be worried sick if you're gone too long. Emphasis on fan cred? Interesting. Screenshotting this for the archives. Fan cred will be interesting. Interesting. Interesting detail. World building. Lore. Uh, right. If I ever go to, if I ever post my YouTube listening history, I have a um, one hour extended mix of that piano song we were listening to earlier, just on repeat on YouTube. It's quite a lovely song and I listen to it all the time. Sometimes I just go in my house, and once you choose to depart, Julius will accompany you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Alphano and Alice set off on a brisk walk. A bear? There's also a bird up there that seems ominous. Better not draw attention. That's the station, I presume. Jotun, interesting.
This is it, the first stop, that is. Radios saved some people. This guy doesn't seem to have a radio, but I guess the tower pulse is over. Oh my god, it's a literal train station. Wow. This is the most contemporary things I've seen in Final Fantasy. Oh god. Feels like an no. cars. Wow. Okay. What are we dealing with here? Clearly a American-made model, given the lower grill. Headlights appear to be incandescent. Tires. Oh, there's a car. Hey, baby. What's going on? But they're cerulean powered. Exhaust pipes nowhere to be found, suggesting no internal combustion engine. Interesting. Perhaps battery powered? Who knows? This train has- the runaway train certainly has seen better days. Again? Oh boy. naked in his car. Of course. Okay, this train is jank. Derailed. I mean what I said. These people deserve death. Keep following along the railway. Okay. Garlemald is supposed to be the Roman Empire mixed with 1970s Soviet Union. Interesting. Were that true, I would expect... I guess it does feel like that, actually. I get that, for sure. Imperial. Yikes. Hmm. Okay, so some people we can't save. You admit it. You've been seeing these monstrosities. We will think twice before talking about a cure. Hmm. Alice. Where is the etherite crystal? Uh, huh? Oops. You cannot attune here. Oh, okay. 
for a very long time. Sweet. Debated. Stop! 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 Let me out! Let me out! No way I'm underground. This can't be right. No, no way, no way. This isn't right. It's up. It's up, you fools. No, it's not up. Oh my god, I'm so confused. <laughs> Where do I go? Is this literally like an underground parking garage as though I'm in downtown Toronto looking for a place to park? It's not down, Kalisha. Don't lie to me. I'll accept lies from anyone else, but not you, Kalisha. Not you, Felicia. I expect lies. But not you. Now we can go down. Okay, everyone just relax. It's fine. Ow. Theodora is dead. That sucks for them. <laughs> little trash fire oh my god they put a garbage fire they put Ark in game that's so nice of them Ark here you are buddy the garbage fire I feel like I'm playing near or like Metro. Oh, there is a crystal. It's plain to see why they chose this as their base of operations. If Julius is willing to make the perilous journey for food, their supplies must be exhausted. Okay, who's your boss man? Target? Do I target the etherite? Did you get the side quest? Yeah, I got the lady in um, Charlotte and I talked to her, the sightseeing log lady. I did. 
I talked to the lady. It's Q? MSQ lock. Oh, okay. Okay. Emma? Imposing commander. Interesting. These are their chosen representatives. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Very well. Yes, sir. I present to you our commander, Lord Quintus Van Kena, Legatus of the First Legion. Quintus, I think I fought him once. The first? I had no idea you had Probably survived. Not. We lost our emperor, our city, more than half our troops. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. So Garthamold is fucked. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me. Though you children may speak in earnest, overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a... I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. And after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Hmm. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Can we not work together to face our problems as one? I feel like I'm walking on the end here. Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not? It's a good question. Disparity is the root of discord, and 
peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Jesus. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until... It seems there is nothing more to say on the map. Don't you even try it. You remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you. So they're starving, underground. No food. Starving, we will as not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up. As by dawn, you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to be dead. Condition. Collar them. Oh. Collared them. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Oh, okay. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, a shock would be no more than an itch. <gasps> She's gonna punish them? I hope I don't have my flower on me. You need Otherwise... to worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... <laughs> Why go to such lengths? Even the most bitter adversary must one day see reason! a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian <laughs> others friends. paint you to be. So much. I hate you all. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. I hate you guys. All of you are the worst people I know. Every one of you. A disaster of a person. Not me. Not a disaster. I'm fine. You all, though? Different story. <laughs> Don't say nay, I do. Ugh. Stubborn fool. I'm gonna snap. Unbelievable. Supervise you during your time here. I do not have a key. I can't help you. Speak with the others. Let's go. right now. <laughs> For the record, Pammy, 
Cam, Pammy, if I may, I had an all caps Reb, the duty is timed DM from Pammy when I was in G posts and cred. So that's exciting that someone was looking out for me. Uh, gather info. Pammy was looking out for me. <laughs> Thanks, Pammy. Would you like to see the results of my G posing, though? I would argue it was worth it because I got some. De Niro screenshots of Tancred. An artist's collection, if you will. Keep your hands off the etherite, it's deactivated. Built by Garleans for Garleans. Send them to me, Pammy, with pleasure, my girl. All of them? Hmm, yes. I think I will. I bet you didn't think to G-Pose as Thancred. That was like a high IQ play by a true... They're 4K, just saying. These days, the Aetherite's power to keep this place lit, though it comes down to the cost of normal function. So cold. They're on the verge of losing consciousness, okay. I know who you are, the champion of Eorzea. Wipe that smirk off your face. Tour the sutures. I'll cut you down where I... Okay. The radio is the same model. I do have in a chat. It's you, Rebulas Markov. I served under Lord Gaius. You and your adventurers, you killed them. My comrades. Can't wait to wait to run prey after this. <laughs> we have a dead cat boy. I've made my position clear. Do not test my patience. Speak with Elfino. <laughs> Their plight is desperate. The brocade. It's like a jacquard fabric. Sire, they might not be able to be helped. Oh my god! The Aquitains! <gasps> oh my god, did Sophie fall asleep? Wake up. Wake up, Ari. <laughs> I heard Praetorium. Don't worry about it, Lucy. Louise, sitting down, you're almost taller than me. I will dote upon you. And I will dote upon you all. This is my favorite glam of Ari's. Looking so good. It hurts. Kalisha is sitting. My eyes, they can't see. If going hungry means someone else lives, let it be. Okay. Inoka looks like they're about to kill someone. <laughs> Hayden. So those you met fare no better. I was afraid you would say that. Huh? 
How close am I to the dungeon now? I must be getting close. Right? Yes? Yes? Must close? Must be close? One of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted. Loyal servants. Wait, wait. Um, we identified the seat of the enemy's power. We realized Lord Quintus dispatched a messenger instructing them to join us. How do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish. I will speak with Lord Quintus. Okay, so they have hubris underground. And above ground, they have ceruleum troubles. <laughs> no, he will not place Garlemald in the debt of her enemies. After many hands make light work. Kindly take us above ground. can't get over how bad things got here. This is the park. I'm surprised they found space for one amongst all these buildings. This is the recreational care area came first. The houses were built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to socialize. This park was named after the founding father of the empire, the great Solus Zoscalus. Did we come to extract Cerulean from the wrecked Magitech? No, we've already drained it dry. Scour the city for every last drop. So this is like the 30. Oh, well, I thought that was Emmett Selk. I saw a white collar and I was like, oh my God, but it's not. It was just a person. But 
as I was saying, this is like the 20th Emmett self reference we've had. And he's narrating it. So, like, I don't know how to feel. I think if I had to describe my feelings for an, an audience, it would be fundamentally confused. I don't want to get hopeful because I've learned not to. Uh, but I just am confused. I think I, fundamentally, I'm like developing Final Fantasy XIV heuristics in which to train my mind how to approach content in this game. And I don't know how to feel. I feel emotional. I feel a bit sad, if I'm honest. I thought I saw a little thing here. It was built for a children to play shopkeeper. Like, for them to even mention that Solus built this park for children, and it's literally called the Forum Solius. I don't know, guys. I'm having a bit of a tough time here. And I can't find the last sparkles, so. I'm not sure where to look. And it's literally a kid's park. He made a children's slide. Like, what is going on? Contraption built in the style of the War Machina, or War Machina, armed with a battery of weapons. It appears to be no more than a children's slide. to bring my brother and sister here to play the pond heated to stop it from freezing over. We could wait in and splash about. The pond was heated with cerulean! Hello! I suppose it must have been. This brackish muck. Do not go in, Alice. Julius, what are your thoughts on magic? while I drink the pond dry. Reb is so thirsty, she's going to drink a pond dry. Chichen. Chichen. Watch it.
I'm reformed. I'm a reformed woman. I don't simp anymore. There's nothing for me here. As I've learned. I'm fully reformed. I'm a new woman. There's nothing for me in this game. I delve into murky waters. I'm chilled to the bone with an eight second debuff. For me, I find this game, the benefits of its combat enlighten me. Uh, I think I found a handle. Uh-oh. You simp Emmett though, shut up. Your grand discovery comes at a personal cost. You become acutely aware of the freezing cold and the odor emanating from every element of your body. So I stink and I'm cold. Life imitates art. <gasps> Renetrain! Fellow vamp member, as you can see. So I smell bad and I'm freezing. Okay, that's fine. Did you find anything? I hope you did. That's it. There's still some cerulean left. Did you grow up in Garlemald? I did, not far from here. My father was a researcher. We lived well better than many. What was Garlemald like in those days? Everything. It was everything you could imagine and so much more. Even during the coldest winters, you found warmth and comfort at home. Taking off your coat, sitting down for a hot meal with family, visiting friends, receiving that welcome, everything we had was needed. The summers came and went all too quickly. The ice would melt and the forgotten grass would make its triumphant return. Gray clouds gave way to blue skies. The mornings we'd climb to the tallest buildings and find we'd watch the sun rise. Never again, those rooftops are rubble. Friends dead. Our chance will come. We just need to hold on a little longer. outside the park now. This place is littered with the remnants of War Machina. work. Use the first legion incendiary on the destroyed magitech to retrieve cerulean tanks. Head, I do. Do not grab your head. The 
did it not work? <laughs> Hello? Do not laugh at me. I am not, not a, don't laugh at me. Hands up. Finally. They have shock collars on, like some kind of dog. Finally escaped the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Yes. Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. Okay. After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of us scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged sometime later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitech collars, it was clear what had taken place. Mm -hmm. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. Uh, well, Quintus is the guy from the first thing. And the Gatus himself, eh? Yes. Now there's a surprise. They're starving. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. An interesting development. And perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news. But it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. Nice to know Thancred has my number. <laughs> Giving me a little call late on a Garlean evening. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. For now, this will have to suffice. You've gone hunting for ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom? Hardly. But thanks to these three, we haven't. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for sap. We're not savages. Uh, it's a poor attempt at humor. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! Use what you procured to refuel the armor. But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp?
The time for action is upon us. My men and I have matters to discuss. In okay. They're gonna heat up the Magitek armor? But why? Are we going in? Tower of Babel? The time. I can only speculate. Clearly, something requiring. escape this cold? Finished your war, Council? Alphino and Alizea are to stay here as our prisoners. Huh. Until our terms are met. They will be detained. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Hmm. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? Do not shock them. Julius? For now, For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Indulge them. Get them out of here. Oh, Julius came to like us. He's conflicted. As you would be. the aisle for future details in those words, okay? It's gonna be like a slash, slash, say situation. Slash, say, ask the aisle? No. Wasn't this guy, like, wounded and his sutures popped earlier? <laughs> I do? What are you doing, buddy? We're going upstairs, but you already knew that, didn't you? Interesting that it's so contemporary, like literally to the tiles on the floor with their cross hatched. Aiden, go, 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 go. Even the little dome here, it's actually quite. Wait. Aiden, no! Let me out!
Duty is really a simple thing. Oh, we're following Julius. It's like the 1970s Soviet Union. Yeah, I, I guess. I think we already mentioned that. <laughs> Taxi driver attempts to get away with the passenger. Hayden would live to regret the day he kidnapped me. I talk about Emmett Selk in the car for like a minute and he tossed me to the curb. It's easy. No kidnapper could withstand how annoying I am. Oh my god, this is gonna be his house or something sad. Julius lingers by the ruins, reluctant to leave and reluctant to stay. Wait here. Yes. This is my home. Ah. Uh. Home. But why did it get bombed? Just the nature of the magic. Yes, it was until that night. I was with. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister. They weren't themselves, and they... They tried to. And I had to. I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning. To somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. I promised. flag bears a chain a red link at its center the blood of the fallen our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. I have to switch my headphones after this they're dying but if she too fell who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice if we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? I don't think... I'm sorry, forget I spoke. Hmm. We should go. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. Snuggle up, twins. It's cold. Oh my god, don't do it. <sighs> it's so cold. Painfully so. The twins I've are been in thinking jail. About what Quintus said. Irreconcilable differences. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United as one people, a cold and unforgiving vision. But the truly sad, 
truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. All of us lost in a sea of chaos, searching desperately for purpose and meaning. We all have a stake in this world. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower, no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth. But what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics. As for my dream of building a better world? Hmm. But it only spurs me onward. He looks lawfully to the roof of his current imprisonment. Oh, you optimist. of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. Hmm. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Huh? Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand. To... Hmm. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. Oh my god, my headphones just died. You've found your own reason Stable. to fight. We're good. Yes. Yes. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play by your... I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Oh, they like each other after Thank all. Thank you, Alice. Contacts are drying out, so I'm like extra susceptible to crying. Okay, Astinian. He wasn't following us the whole time. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication. They report <laughs> no casualties. Not for their party, nor the guards, who will... It would appear the situation has changed. I Obviously. propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus. And...
No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. Oh, shit. Ambush! Oh, shit. We, the loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Stop, both of you! This child may be the worst emissary I have ever seen. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. Hmm? They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th had ended in communication between most legions has broken down entirely. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies. Every word. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. You have been listening, my lord? Uh-oh. Uh, wh what are your orders? Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Bereft of hope. I release you from your duty. All of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united, of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. that Quintus will agree to a truce? I just hope we get there before he and his men do something.
okay? Okay, so Quintus offed himself because he would rather die than betray the ideals of Garlemald. I thought the first was depressing, but nothing compares to whatever is happening here. He literally killed himself. This is insane. Fabulast and Julius. Hmm. We arrived too late. Lord Quintus took his own life. After the news about the 10th, he relieved of his own duties and then alone he... Thancred and the others have seen the remains. Lilligatus will be afforded a proper burial. He released us from our duty. He wanted us to be free to choose our own fate. Without him to guide us. I have just this moment spoken with Lucia. We're we ready to commence the transfer of refugees. Will they be willing to accept our aid? Some would rather die, but most just want to live. We just want to live. Thanks for the hot chocolate, buddy. Appreciate it, Xana. Mm. Oh, now I can attune! Down we go! Nope. Oh god, no! Do not put his naked body on my screen. I can't believe that they're doing this music to me really doesn't feel good. And now I can attune?
I sent my wife and daughter away. Take me with you. Well, we got the ether right. Speak with Flavius. <gasps> Estinian! Oh shit. Where's daddy? I don't know. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Maybe? Yes, Flavius is who we seek. you, the one who treated me with such kindness. Okay, so they accept our aid now. Oh, I'm too big. Ah! Uh, <laughs> they did not account for amount sizes in this cohort of we have much to discuss. I'll mark a few points that need surveying on the map. Once you've taken care of the Rift Wrath, we will meet back at camp. Very well. Oh boy. Oh, oh, okay, so we're going above. All right, so we've effectively relieved their camp of its situation. They're gonna be refugees with us. Their leader committed suicide. We gotta do some stuff. Oh no, it's a fence! Can I do anything? Oh, I guess so. Conqueror's Chain? 
Not use while interacting. Oh, I see. <gasps> no! What is going on? How do I use the thing? Uh, okay. I guess that worked. <laughs> Reggio di Ormo. It is it. <laughs> Reggio di Moro. It is Rome. When in Rome, as they say. Emma! Stop trolling me! Why must you be this way? the purple glow, I go to the purple glow. I must be close to the dungeon now, right? Uh, key item. I did it! Speak with Thancred with pleasure. G-Pose time? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. I'm being timed here. As expected, I ran into a few beasts who went down with a much of a fight. The temper proved troublesome. Those chains should keep them under control. Suicide, it was probably a shock. Yeah. Don't worry, we have lots of people coming. Interesting. I don't know the man or his heart. His reasons died with him, and now we clean up the mess. I assume you're curious about what happens and how matters have progressed while you were in absence. Quite well. Now that we've procured ceruleum, the prepared heaters can provide warmth. We've prepared sufficient food. Oh, I get to have a nap! Seek out Ishtola. She was recently attending to the wounded, but she's meant to be taking a rest. Okay. Yes, I've been taking proper breaks. You twins have established reckless disregard for your own well-being. We mustn't waver. A 
upon settling down for supper, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view those scenes in their entirety. I almost feel like I need to switch to glasses. Sit down for a restful supper. Why not? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I have a restful dinner? Oh God, Hayden's here with his harp. Uriange is healing. Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Finally, my hot soup! Was I not promised this, like, hours ago? Pretty sure I was promised this hot soup hours ago. Warmth, at last. Julius is. Oh, it's not Julius. It's been Jealous Marvelous, this whole time. It? Oops. All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Laments and Smiths that put the bloody things together. Oh, well, be that as it may. We single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way! We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate! Ooh, it's like I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat! Take that back! Make me. I will not stoop to your level. Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is... Hmm. Hmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to.
the little things that make life worth living, don't you think? This is not a dream, and yet... I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, Again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. So we've effectively brokered peace with the remaining untempered Garleans. Pretty good. Were it I not for you soup. and your fellow Scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The Grand Company of Eorzea. The Ilsebard contingent. Ilsebard, Ilsebard. We've shed many tears in recent days. Indeed, we can but do our utmost to unite these disparate peoples and lead them to victory. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Two. I read faster than they talk, I'm not skipping, just so you know. Yes, I know. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass. Joy? Is it the flower? Blue. Peace? Comfort? I don't know. What do we feel? We had joy earlier. Now we have, like, tranquility? I don't know. being tempered the talismans quickly To disappoint him. They took me. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short.
I shall begin the preparations. Now, it is time for you to awaken. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteem. Give me back my body. And permit you to go on a righteous rampage instead of partaking in this delicious meal? I think not. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. You just had to ask, dude. I'd be- oh. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. What? Ah, exposition is in order. Pray tell. The Garlean Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvus, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new Emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. Hold what on. Rotten there was a limb in the Tower of Zot. It's got to be the people the Emperor. cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. It is and him. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. So... And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Garlean spirit, their anima. So... It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does Ether from every corner of the globe. So they literally summoned a primal after all. The towers all. with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Would you not agree, my lord?
Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh. Feel, oh. Will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. You took my body. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion. But clearly we are above such pretensions. <laughs> While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asia, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. your friends as you. I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. Ah, 
There it is. Your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here, or run if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. I feel like I just learned a lot, and it doesn't matter because. Sure work of them. Okay. But on this occasion. The odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. So I'm just some simple soldier boy? Is that right? I'm a simple soldier boy? In from the cold. I'm a poor little soldier boy? Uh, okay. Rage of Halone, fight or flight, rampart. Come along. Uh, what is fight or flight? Okay, that's a damage increase, so it's mitigation. Increase and then just one spam combo. Now I know the question on everyone's mind. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was stunned. Can I depose? I know you all want to know. Not bad at all, given your diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about. Like a road. You can G pose. Perfect, let's go. <laughs> this is a moment of truth. Perfect. Yes, stand over this. There we go. <laughs> you can G pose. It's perfect. Uh, tempered Imperial. He has breathed his last. Pay your respects. You offer a silent pair. You have used, uh, avoid combat where possible. If you're discovered, they will chase you. You can't defeat shit. Got it. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know where to go! Where do I go? What way do I go? Someone help me! Oh my god, what is going on? Click I did click it! I did click it! Inspect them, okay. Ah, uh, they're carrying metal. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh fuck. I don't know what way to go. Mm -hmm. 
Is this where I'm going? Or am I going here? I don't actually know where I'm going. Oh, where do I go? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Oh my god. I don't know where to go! This is a, this is, I'm going west, leave me alone. I'm going, I'm literally going west. This is a disaster. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I move is the question. Yes, okay. Oh no. Is this guy in the move? Oh shit. Uh Please don't be up there, I can't get up. <gasps> He's just attacking me and I can't do anything. Oh shit. Oh my god, oh my god, Rampart. Come, 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 come. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so his cone... Oh my god, okay.
Please don't turn around. I assume I got the keys to the car and now I go back. No? Where the hell do I go? <laughs> Please don't see. Oh no! There's no way I can do this in 15 minutes. I have a damage up uh, for three minutes, so I guess if I was ever gonna get... I don't want a medical kit. Oh my god, fuel concealing wreckage. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. One more hit. One more hit. Not tell me I am literally holding fuel and I can't do any other actions. This is a disaster. I can't put it down. I can't use the med kit. I literally, I literally can't use the med kit.
Oh my god, I can't move! I should have saved my mitigation for whatever that is. They found us. Get ready. Uh, assist the civilians in defeating the Tempered Imperials. Oh god. I can't mitigate. I have nothing. And I'm stunned. I'm out of medkits. I have nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do anything. Uh, where's my guy? I'm literally gonna die here after all my exquisite stealthing. Nine health. <sighs> Unable to escape the blast, you begin to lose consciousness. I know what you're all asking. Can you G-pose like this? The answer is... No. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you cannot G-pose. Yeah, I know there's a timer. I don't know... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I feel like I'm meant to fail here. I 
I can't crawl faster. Don't pressure me. It is a miracle we were able to restrain the Tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna, and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully, there are enough scales for everyone. And what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. They were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. May the fury... Oh no. Jesus. Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck, we'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw her leave in the chaos, and with no trail to follow. While I know full well she can handle herself, I worry all the same. Graha looks amazing in this outfit, by the way. Kalisha, ah, you have chosen wisely. Speak of the devil. This outfit is just such a look. Absolutely serving winter cat. Well, time to call off the search. <laughs> Case closed. That's her, over there. <gasps> she sees ether. Aye, it would appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive her presence. I am. Perhaps, in the aftermath of the wave, there is some residual effect interfering with my faculties. Don't- Where have you been? We've been worried sick! Uh, now, now. All's well that ends well. Are you alright? Are you alright? Oh no. Who are you? Get away from them, you bastard. <laughs> okay. Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. But where are my manners? We have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respects. Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Particularly effective. Charitable souls that you are, you bent over backwards to aid them. Heedless of the delay. Predictable to a fault. And so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether. 
and then shall come the spectacle to end all <laughs> I have questions spectacle. about anima. I'm a little fuzzy. Just a tiny bit the fuzzy. Eldest and most powerful of primals will that awaken. That the answer. And all shall bear witness to the final days. Varys is dead dead, but his body is a tribal vessel? This is so creepy. The gods themselves will be my meal. Your dear companions my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. I'm sorry. For upon thy life's wheel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Thank goodness. She's awake. Xenos literally took my body. So I'm not dead yet. Quote it. I'm not dead. Quotable. I am pleased to report you are very much alive. So those were just distractions so that Fandaniel could do his shit. Order. So we were distracted by the suffering. That's a relief. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. I was promised hot soup probably like three hours ago now. <laughs> oh boy. Rylarth and his Santa clothes. Are you certain you're well? Nothing out of place. No missing bits. Emma has, uh, I think I'm good for a party for now, because I think I need to do quest stuff still. Uh, now that you've recovered, they would like a word with me. The anima was summoned with the corpse of Emperor Varus. So they used a corpse? The ether issued not from the tower, but the primal lurking within it. A primal whose cry rang loudly in the ears than ours. If you were taken to the tower itself, this proves that the beating heart of the Telephorized machinations. In which case, some highly relevant information. Ever since we dispatched troops to free the Leveilleurs, we've been developing a plan to infiltrate the tower. According to Than Credit and his scouts, the structure is lousy with tempered and enemy magic tempered. Furthermore, the road is collapsed, making it difficult to approach. 
One to distract and one to obliterate. Okay. We will do the diversionary forces with Ishgard, Gredanian, and Luminsons, and they will begin the construction of bridges to make the Telephore I believe we're marching upon the tower. Meanwhile, our best suited comrades will use a different method of ingress. Look here. Uh, the facility marked in red is the Enceladium, a vast magitech manufactory in ruins now. But the freight tunnel to the erstwhile Imperial Ballast remains intact. Okay, so tunneling in. Be aware that the underground rail network remains operational. The Tempered are using it to bring supplies to the tower. If they can carry their materiel, they can carry us too. If we sneak aboard unseen, okay. More stealth? Woo! The Scions will lead the infiltration party. Once inside, locate and dispatch Van Daniel and see us. It's time we ended this once and for all. Van Daniel made it quite clear that haste is a priority. Again, Graha looking. In Amon's time, it meant Gateway of the Gods. Zond used it to refer to Void Gate. It's almost certainly alluding to something even greater. The eldest and most powerful of primals. <gasps> Pablo! Feliz Navidad, Pablo. Things are happening here. Pablo, I don't know if you saw, but like someone took my body. It was an ordeal. Pablo, you're a mod, so you can talk. You can talk shit all you want. Earlier today, I sent Pablo a um, a voice note, uh, and um, I was explaining to Pablo over voice note because I was too lazy to type that. Um, I what was I explaining to you, Pablo? I, oh, I was explaining the um, follow. I was like, oh my god, Pablo. I was explaining that um, Estinian was following me around a town. So I was saying, you'll never believe it. In old expansions, you used to have to go to point A to point B in, um, and like you would just appear, but now you go to point A to point B and they follow you. And and they actually follow you around town. So I was in a lamppost and blah, blah, blah. So it was, uh, Pablo got an earful this morning. On TV, hard to type. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't know why you're on your TV. Oh, I guess you're in the app. Um. It's dungeon time. He'll send you voice messages and roasts afterward? Nah. It's not his style. All right, we have a lot of people. I, I assume the dungeon's next. We have a lot of people offering. So what I'm gonna have to do here, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone is listening to the, the whispers coming in. Um, I have sl slightly preformed, but I think I still have room for one more. Ah, so let me just get the dungeon ready and then I'll go in with the factors at hand. Cause I have slightly preformed group. Oh, Pablo's in bed. Pablo, hello, Pablo. I got the, I got the, I got the view. Hello there, Pablo. We're about to do a dungeon. I've been playing for five hours now, and this is the first dungeon of the night. So, here we go. Barely enough cloth to swaddle a newborn. Watch your tongue, you fool, lest I, lest I feed it to the crows. We will see who the fool is when he freeze to death. Expect me not to warm your ill-prepared hide. These furs are for myself. Oh boy. As if any woman of worth would wish to be warmed by you, little son. 
Should we find such a warrior within, she will bask in my glorious flame. Hot damn. Stop, both of you. Save your fire for the enemy. Hello, everyone. All set for battle, I see. Yes, free of unnecessary encumbrances. Rather, more susceptible to the cold. Pippin's group has gone ahead. We're to meet them there. We wait till the Temperance attention is drawn, then we sneak in the Tower of Babel. If any are injured, we tend to them. The scions press on no matter what. We should avoid moving as a group until we're underground. Oh, he changed! They all changed back! They've decided it's not cold. Small talk with Ariange. Cold? <laughs> He's freezing. Oh my god. Actually, what does Thancred have to say? I think it's time I was off. Merry Christmas from one of your favorite himbos. Thank you, sweet Godbird. Uh, this appears to just be a wall. Uh, oh no. Merry Christmas! Eastern time zone. Hail to- it's good to see you, Rebulas. We heard that you collapsed and were given only the most cursory explanation. I'm glad that you recovered quickly enough and were able to gain part the operation. It's Christmas! And as a result, the greatest gift of all on Christmas is going into a station. Oh my god. Destination. Clocked. Okay, so the train still work. We're gonna smuggle ourselves aboard the train. This is everyone. That's the bridge, I assume? Consider the enemy distracted. Very well. Here, here. There's been enough of that. We came to help the people of Garlemald, and that's what we're going to do together. Till the very end. The train should be along any moment now. Prepare to board. I love that they brought the step warriors. So lovely. Oh, and all my friends.
The Tower of Babel is now accessible. Okay, so I think the first DM I got was from Louise. And then I already have a pre-made with, um, obviously, the world's biggest troll, Art Flash. And I think Ark is in a party already, though. So I don't know how that's going to go. So... Oops. So... Oh. I assume... So, Louise was the first... <laughs> Wait, I've been trolling you this entire night. That is true, Emma. Uh... So... If you don't get in for this dungeon, don't worry. So the first, the true first whisper I got was Louise Aquitaine. I'd like to reserve a spot in the next duty if possible. And then Hayden, and I can be any role. So, but Skylar and Ark were already in a party. So we're gonna go with this team comp for now. If you didn't get in, don't worry about it. We're gonna have some fun no matter what. So don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Hayden, why do you have clothes on? What's happened here? Has Xenos taken over your body? <laughs> There's Xenos. That's the Xenos I know. Are we going to do competing? I was ready to battle. Ah, yes. Very well. Okay. Uncoat yourself. Thank you, Val. Race you to the boss? Alright. Okay, so so far we're doing nothing but towers. I didn't R check, but I believe in you all. Let's go. I have been streaming for almost six hours, so after this dungeon, after the cinematics, I'm probably gonna end it, which is like similar to last night, just as a heads up. Because it's midnight and it's Christmas. So we'll do dungeon, we'll do some cinematics, and then I'll go to bed. Easy. Easy. Now or never. I regret keeping my uh, titles on for friends, because now I have to stare at the perfect legend. I have aggro. Okay, first of all, Louise with a giant scythe is sending me. Louise, the literal goddess.
Okay, so Sadu's with us. Barnabas, interesting. Uh... Luge. I don't know who that is. Do I have a negative sign? Uh... <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, mechanics. Mechanics that are hard. I don't know what to do. It's gonna move me. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine. Okay, next time I see one of those over my head, I'm going to uh, do a mana ward. Thunderball, can you target them? Oh god. I'm not moving out of my ley line. Party adjust. Ground and pound. Oh god. Oh no! Skylar saved me! Oh no! I don't know what to do. I don't know. Do we have to? Okay. Uh, Louise was jumping. Oh god, man of words, man of words. No, 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 no. Oh wait, the ground was negative. So the ground was the opposite of what I had. So Louise was jumping because they were positive and I was positive. I think. Okay, so here we go again. So I'm the only negative one, so I'm gonna go over here. No! Oh no. Oh, I'm. So <laughs> it's fine, it's Christmas. We need a Christmas miracle. Okay, we know what this does. We did it. Easy. Easiest dungeon I've ever done. No deaths. First try. Oh, are these all the crazy Russian hats I see everyone wearing? At least I know where they come from now. Let's see, what does Ark have for a sword and shield? I haven't found my new AoEs yet, so I'm just kind of winging it here. So we're climbing the tower. The 
sun does not need the barking of pharaoh dogs. Oh shit. Theory? with a giant scythe. It's perfect. Babel Death Machine, Martial Conditioning, Oops, Oh God. Oh no, 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 no. Frog, this makes me small. Uh, okay, now. Oh no! Okay, now I'm small again. Uh, how do I get big? How do I get big? Now I want to be a frog, I bet. Down. Do I want to be a frog? Yes, I do. Okay.
Okay, so this is where you go Trinky Man. Uh, bracelets, casting, earrings, scouting, slaying, bending. So we are in Garlemald Tower, but it's clearly been taken over by Bones. Bones have risen. We're in a bone tower. Ooh, I just Oh my god, I need to stretch my legs. Okay. Uh... In bone this pull. Okay. my best to cast my spells. I don't really know what's going on. I'm a little scared. Hyper tuned specimen. Okay. So these are the crazy things from the um, like the experiments. Oh my god, Ark's dead. Oh my god. Skylar, get him up. Oh my god, my mana ward can only... Skylar's blaming the programmers of Final Fantasy XIV Online for that. Uh, so let's just acknowledge the shortcomings of Skylar are being projected onto the programming team and their code acumen to blame for that failure. Wasn't Skylar, it was Square Enix is the reason we died there, just for the record. I'm the tank now. Stand back. Oh, there's loot. Skylar, I'm not blaming you. I'm joking. Oh! A cane? Oh, for conjure. Post-mortem analysis implies that I was ever not dead to begin with. There's no post-mortem in my world. There's only mortem.
Station. Ark is speaking Latin to me, clearly confusing me for someone that is of his age. The age of the original Latin speakers in high school. Okay, this is super gross. So it's a primal, but not? So Varys is dead, then... The icon of icons, Anima. I don't know that we got this. Oh, Ark's the Paladin! We'll be fine. Can't even 
melee. Yeah, we'll be fine. As long as I keep my DPS somewhat respectable. Which I am incapable of doing. Please, I'm coming! much about paladins. I know you do that sometimes, Kalisha. I just, I guess I never realized. Uh, this is the get out of middle thing. Oh, did I go the wrong way? One or more party members has yet to complete this duty. Second chance. A garlic mold orchestration has been added to the loot list. I am confused. Imperial magic tuck? Oh, damn. Pose. Skylar, you can be dead. Actually, this is kind of devastating because this robe is heinous. Slash. Pizza. Skylar's dead. Just as it was foretold. Louise is thriving. Skylar's dead. And I got some saw. This is the life. There we go. A woman and her food. And a dead bunny. Perfect. All right. I have questions about Varys. I'm very uncertain. I understand. I don't think I quite understand Varys's condition. How could he become a primal? Final Varys. May the gods have mercy on your soul. How could he become a primal? What were the Garleans doing? I'm a little bug. The other two await. The other two. Ooh. Why is my skin so red? Is it because I'm emotional? Yes. This madness ends here. Oh, hush. 
This is the best part. Enough! defense. Cryo? But how? The shackles that bind my adversary will not be so easily broken. Hydaelyn! Feeble relic of a forgotten age! Victory is mine! We shall travel to the moon and break this wretched barrier ourselves. Whatever it takes. What was that? The final order issued by Anima to the Tempered Throne. Should the Empire fall, the world must share our fate. Of course. Father lacked the conviction to give such a command. The abomination born of his flesh was but a puppet, and I the puppeteer. You madman! You monster! There's a funny joy in watching your flailing attempts to fight the inevitable. You're all going to die, and they're powerless to prevent it. We really must be on our way. You're welcome to give chase, provided you are content to leave comrade and tempered alike to die screaming. of this child. Tend to her. The last brand at Mare Lamentorum is yet unbroken. Zodiac remains bound. I have shifted the flow of ether and sent the enemy far from their destination. Now, I shall divert it once more. An ally awaits, and I will deliver you unto him. Seek his aid. Restore the seal. Zodiac must not be set free. So Zodiac's in the moon?
The Tempered are running wild. Not only those at the tower, but those back at the camp. The others are doing their best to contain them, but the situation is growing beyond our control. Moon's hard to DK. Do to die or give up the chase. Just like Van Daniel said. So, the moon is where Zodiac is. I'm the one Xenos wants. Ain't that right? You're... So we're going to the moon. Or I'm going to the moon alone, rather. Zodiac just wants that cheese. My friend, I've eaten have almost a whole wheel and of course. Faith. And I pray no we cheese. have yours. Our friends in the Tempered need our help. We will save as many as we can, I swear. Once we have matters well in hand, we'll join you on the moon. Until then, be careful. There's no telling what you'll find. You can't just say that like it's a normal thing to say. Like, this entire game we have not talked about just going to the moon. And yet. May the 12 carry you to victory. <laughs> you may now enter the Tower of Babel with a party of NPC avatars. Okay. I guess I'm going to the moon. Graha is pondering the technological marvel you have just beheld. You don't say. I was lost in thought. This device is of a login design, which leads me to think it I was right about Van Daniel. He has an attachment to the trappings of his past. Let us turn to the task at hand. As Heidelin said, the flow of ether will transport you to Mare Lamentorium. Okay. Uh. What do you have to say for this, Sustinian? We have no time for worrying. Okay. Pragmatic to a fault. Okay. If I were to go to the moon, could I quickly attune or is it like go to the moon and I won't have a chance to attune for like an hour to an etherite up there, like the mare one. So I'd be, it, it would be fast. Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm going to go. Go to the moon and quickly attune. Okay. Go to the moon and quickly attune. Travel to Mare Lamentorium. <laughs> DK, I love how you're just shrugging. You're like, maybe it's the moon. Who knows? It, it's not very predictable. Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an elder primal, the eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon of his own. Mm. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we will be made whole. You haven't even finished Stormblood? Look away! In this cold, barren place, his cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. Okay. to help me. Oh! Oh, Jerry! Oh, 
My moon friends! Alright, let's go attune. Speak with the ancient spirit. Moon is haunted. Wow. to the etherite. Wow. <gasps> Ark! We made it to the moon. Esty's dead. Hayden, what did you do to her? A tuna on the Luna. Oh, photo op. Yeah, wait, how should we pose? Hold on. I don't know if I can do glamour plates here. Ooh, that's not good. I can cast individual glamour, but I don't... Uh, what do I have that I actually like? Um, I guess that'll do... I guess I'll just wear what I have on. Uh, which should be the background, the etherite or the earth? I assume earth? We're all looking this way. What, what should we say? What should be background? I assume we want earth as the background. Ether for now? Oh, okay. All right, let me get a... I need to sit. And then I need to go upright. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Okay, everyone, you have 10 seconds to get in position. <laughs> Esty's dead. Lala's at the front, of course. All right, I'm gonna do a G pose. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Why not both? Great question. Felicia, we're up. There we go. <gasps> it's beautiful. Let me turn off the dog. <laughs> the elephant. Okay, we have Ari, Hayden, I I think I can see everyone. Okay, that's just a minion. That's Louise. So I think I can actually get a little bit, uh... Who's that back there? Oh, Sinric! Oh shit, okay, I got you. And I got Galen. Let me just get nice. Oh, we have a dead cat girl. Sinric. Okay, he's kind of hidden, but I think we're good. Okay, Galen looks extra matchy with the with the earth. I think I need like the Wow! Okay, now we gotta get earth. All right. Everyone over here. Everyone over here with the earth. Uh, let's see. Oops. I do not know how to cheat those clearly. Oh, we have we have a double situation here. I need to if there is a Skylar. There we go. Three, two, one. 
Minions, I can. Hayden in a perfect pose. I think that kind of works. I can almost get Galen. If I do wide angle, that'll probably help. is probably a... oh my god the vibe clan maya b a vibe look at that we vibing congrats on making it to the moon i don't know how to feel so zodiac is in the moon just like bahamut was in dalamed congrats on finally making it to the moon let me see if i have anything for this occasion uh, I thought I had some hearts. There we go. Hearts, stardust, sunshine. Hayden has a gift, but not a troll gift. Brave new Urianche. Oh, our sweet, sweet little Urianche. Thank you, Hayden. I appreciate it. All right. Like, it's one in the morning, so I'm going to bed, but I don't want to. So I guess I'll end the stream here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a good time. I'll probably be back tomorrow night, but I'm still waiting for my brother's test results. So I don't know what to say. Merry Christmas. It's officially Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you for watching and joining me on my Endwalker journey. Have a great night. Maybe see you soon. I'll let you know.